Today, we're gonna simplify muscle system in Houdini 20. Yeah, I know, this is tricky, but let's see what's happening. Hi everyone, this is Daizen, my privilege to be here. Okay, let's begin. First, let me show you my inspiration in muscle system in general. You see this shot. Boy, I loved it. You see that? Amazing. You can do this with muscle system. So, uh, having said that, I did this basic velum muscle system in Houdini because muscle system was so tricky to do uh, before. But in Houdini 20, we have a way to simplify that. First, let me give you a big picture in muscle system in Houdini. Let me show you. Let's uh, create this test geometry. Everyone saw that in the presentation in Houdini 20, you see. We have uh, this uh, test geometry. So let me give you a hint. Uh, we have the animation and the skeleton. It's like FBX character import. So. In muscle system, we need this skin and this muscle geometry to uh, model that, you see? So this is an extra uh, task to model as a muscle. And on the other hand, we need this bone. Pay attention, the bone geometry, not this bone or skeleton in here, not the joint, you see? So we need three elements to do muscle system. So that's why the muscle system was uh, a headache for me, honestly. So what if I have this T-Rex, for example, this uh, geometry, and let me show you. And I have a couple of animation to it, as you can see, but I don't have any muscle geometry. I don't have any bone geometry. So boy, I need a simple muscle to that. You see? So how we can do that? So how we can do something like that, you see? In simple yet a clever way. The right one, you see one with the muscle? Man, I love it. So let's see what's happened. Okay, before that, let me thank these awesome people on my Patreon. Thank you guys. And I appreciate it. Of course, uh, the complete version of this tutorial, it's available only on my Patreon. Let's begin. Okay, we have this T-Rex imported by FPX character import. First, let me remake that. You see, in here, remeshing, it's not working because my geometry is not connected. So uh, I went to VDB from Polygon, VDB approach, okay? This is a VDB remeshing approach. I create VDB from Polygon and I convert that to the polygon again you see and i adjust this resolution you see that now everything connected let me show you in here and now i can remesh that you see and yeah i can pick any resolution i i need to work with a uh, muscle system let me show you without the vdb you see this line this is this uh, disconnected part and this is with vdb you see so it will produce artifacts. So that's why I create this VDB polygon. So after that, we have this muscle menu and muscle tools. First, we need muscle solidify, sorry, solidify. I don't know how I pronounced it, sorry. So this one, it will uh, give us a necessary attribute. You see that? Of course, disable the remesh uh, option because we have, we, we remesh it uh, in the previous uh, node. Okay, so the first node, it's that muscle solidify, sorry. Okay, after that, we need to have, uh, we need to create this Franken muscle. You see, Franken muscle and Franken muscle pen. This is introduced in Houdini 20. This node will save us to, uh, or prevent us to, uh, uh, to model the muscle system, you see? 
So with this uh, node, uh, we can specify a muscle or create a muscle. You see in here, uh, we, we can give, uh, give it a name and we can paint just like that. Let me show you, for example, I paint this area of the leg. It's simple, right? So after that, uh, we need, uh, let me show you in here, we need this muscle vellum solver. It's simple, you see that? And yeah, we have uh, everything set in here. I enable the uh, ground plane and let me show you. Voila, this is horrible. Okay, this is disaster. But we're gonna fix that, you see? It's nothing like muscle. So to fix that first, let's go step by step we need to hold the model so instead of the bone which is uh, we don't have the bone geometry you see that okay we're gonna use the bone or the joint of the skeleton yeah it's odd but the proper way to model a bone if you want that go ahead be my guest so but now i want to do that uh, fast as possible and as you can see i I uh, connect that connect that to the uh, muscle vellum solver the second input the bone or the source animation and as you can see we have this artifact okay because the bone is so thin not thick enough so to fix that we have this awesome muscle constraint property you see okay the second input will go to the bone and you see nothing happened because we need to enable something in here called muscle to bone we need to constrain the muscle the muscle to the bone so i enable the stiffness and yeah voila that's worked nice if you like this kind of video please hit the like button and subscribe for more content let's carry on so far so good with muscle system in houdini simple right but we're not finished so the muscle it's all about this flexing you see this baby <laughs> silly sorry so for that we have this awesome uh, muscle flex node this is uh, responsible uh, for um, flexing the muscle you see that and yeah as you can see we can uh, connect the second input to the uh, bone and yeah nothing happened you see so for that we need this uh, muscle pro uh, properties so this is so important uh, it will uh, assign some for example stiffness shape stiffness to the muscle or you see that i, I uh, decrease the stiffness and this will happen you see that so this is effect by uh, all the muscle but in here i will select just uh, uh, my muscle the leg muscle so and in here of course in the flex uh, in the flex uh, muscle flex we can animate the flex uh, parameter okay let me show you you see that so i will use this sign or uh, sinus uh, expression you see like that and i will uh, animate this flexing uh, muscle you see that nothing happened so uh, let me maybe multiply that and you see let me go to the vellum solver and let's see what's happening in here as you can see the muscle it's moving but it's not there you see that we have something so let me for example strength the fiber you see fiber strength and you see that this uh, will uh, make the muscle or the fiber uh, so strong you see that and yeah let me have a flip book okay not bad you see that so this is a, a flexed muscle as you can see this will simulate or uh, or showing us uh, how the muscle will flex you see that and yeah let me paint a couple of muscle in here quickly okay maybe in there sorry i need to enable the visualization 
okay yeah that and you see we we, we uh, we're gonna uh, paint this muscle for example just for the demonstration sake i want to show you something in here and you see i will uh, copy this expression and i will uh, offset the number in here and as you can see we have the, this animation to see the flexing uh, of the muscle as you can see yeah it's not bad and let's see what's happening in here let's create a flip book or let's see that you see not not much happening but uh, that's why i need to assign uh, this new muscle to the muscle property we need to apply the same stiffness to the uh, new muscles as you can see so you see we have something this is showing us how we can flex the muscle you see but as you can see the muscle flexing direction it's not right so we're gonna fix that by this amazing node called muscle fiber groom you see this one let me show you what's happening with this one as you can see this one will determine the direction of the muscle and you can paint that as you can see this is like a velocity vector and this is showing uh, showing us the opposite of the direction you see so you can uh, you can paint that and adjust that and let me show you now what's happening i just uh, set a random direction to show you guys you see the direction is now uh, changing as you can see you see okay this is up to you and with your character and the muscle so here you go this is the basic muscle in houdini but we have a couple of issue one of uh, one of that it's this uh, setup franken muscle pain so if i uh, reduce the remesh uh, resolution for the sake of uh, building and uh, developing this muscle I, I i must go to paint that uh, all again so you see that that will be so frustrating so this is one problem another problem we're going to deal with that in Patreon. this animation source you see this for example in my character my animation clip have different uh, structure of joint but my base joint it's different let me show you in here as you can see you see i have this simple joint but in the animation one i have this extra extra joint for the animation you see that will produce artifact for the animation in muscle let me show you if i play that it will be horrible you see that so we're gonna fix that in uh, on my patreon sorry so this is uh, one problem another issue we have in here this muscle flexing you see we're gonna build some setup to uh, flex this muscle base on the joint movement we're gonna link for example the first joint to the last one and we're gonna tell the muscle system in houdini to flex that base on this movement if the joint it's uh, it's moving so the muscle uh, tool flex you see and yeah that's another topic we're gonna uh, discuss on my patreon and yeah we're gonna do this awesome muscle system as you can see in here so if you're interesting i will see you there okay with that have a good day peace out